Prince Charles heartbroken, how future King opened up on personal and appealing tragedy. Prince Charles has spoken of his personal anguish in a candid speech marking 50 years since the future King first talked about the environment. This week marked 50 years since Prince Charles' first speech on the environment and the Prince of Wales opened up on his personal anguish. The Queen's eldest son spoke candidly of the death of British trees from new pests and disease which he lamented in appealing tragedy. Prince Charles, 70, has written for Q magazine on its centenary edition, saying the new or increasing threats of pests and disease are an appalling tragedy for everyone who loves trees in the countryside. On Wednesday, he addressed the magazine's first Plant Health and Biosecurity Conference at which more than 120 international specialists in science and horticulture met to share their expertise. The eco-conscious royal said, Many of us remember the devastating effect that Dutch elm disease had on the British landscape, as countless majestic elms succumbed to the disease and were felled. During the years that followed we hoped that this catastrophe would never be repeated, but over the past decade we have witnessed several other tree species being lost from our landscapes due to attacks from pests and diseases, often exacerbated by the extreme weather patterns resulting from climate change. It has been an appalling tragedy for everyone who loves trees and the countryside to witness the loss of larch and sweet chestnut trees to fight of through rainworm and of ash trees to ash die back. Yet these are only a few of the hundreds of plant pests and diseases now recognized as posing a new or increasing threat within this country. Even the health of our native oaks is a deep cause for concern, with acute oak decline and oak processionary moth just two of the many threats to our country's most important tree species. He told the conference an extraordinary, if hideously overdue, change in perception had occurred in the last decade. Meaning the ultimate irony is that just as we are realizing this we have also managed to engineer a global plant health crisis. He added, we wait in anguish for the seemingly inevitable signs of ash dieback and we worry about acute oak decline. No one quite knows what the next threat will be, but we know there is a long list of equally horrible prospects. Plants of all shapes and sizes play an utterly invaluable and indispensable role in setting the scene for each of our lives. They contribute to a sense of place, of continuity and of belonging. For instance, a waft of scent from a flower can return us instantly to childhood days in a family garden. And nothing perturbs a community quite like the thoughtless felling of neighborhood trees or the unnecessary mowing of roadside verges. Prince Charles' love for trees is well known and on his website titled 70 Facts About HRH the Prince of Wales that after planting each tree, HRH gives a branch a friendly shake to wish them well. The father of Prince William and Prince Harry previously said in a 1986 interview he also talks to trees to help them grow. Prince Charles said, I just come and talk to the plants, really, very important to talk to them. They respond. The Prince of Wales has been coaxing his grandson Prince George, 6, to follow in his gardening footsteps by helping him plant trees at his high grove estate. Charles planted dozens of trees of different varieties in a paddock adjoining the house as a garden to mark George's birth in July 2013. He said, as I get older all I really long for is to plant trees. I hope it will be quite amusing for George, as they grow up, and he grows up. 